Life has been immeasurably good to me. I was born in Missouri, grew up in Oklahoma, and uh, I've been a married, married yes. man. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no. It's very exciting to me to think that here I have lived for 94 years and very soon in my life as I got into high school I began to say gee who am I why am I here how was how have I been so richly blessed but I am so aware at this point in my human journey that I feel something deep inside that says Whatever time you have left, give yourself to loving people and helping people. Breathe, but don't you sigh when the colors turn to gray. And take heed, but don't reply when there's nothing left to say. Before you bow down to an empty throne Who would you like to be? When all their lies have become your own Who would you like to be? recorded you on video? Yes. It's now on the internet and people all over the world have been listening to it. Oh no. When I went to Vegas, people came up to me and said, oh, I loved what your grandpa said on Christmas. Oh. So your voice and your Amazing. words are spreading out all over the world. Gee, you can't encompass the, the privilege and the opportunity and the just sense of the weight of your being counted for something. <laughs> Try one more time. June bug. This, this That's a June bug. Is All right. it still As children, alive? we yeah. would get a June bug. All right, this is um, whoops. About that size, about the size of the tip of your finger. Mm -hmm. And we catch them, and one would hold it while you put a string around one of the legs. And then you go around and you play it, let it run. And sometimes you could go as far as three or four feet. Yes. Life is exciting. That's <laughs> one of the things of nature. <laughs> really? <laughs> Every day is a gift. <laughs> I love God, whoever he may be, and I love love, and I love the Christ, the Jesus who takes residence in me, I believe, as I absorb some of his teaching and try to follow him. Many scriptures were put, and put together. Many people wrote them, and they weren't written at all until after Paul in about 60 A.D., and so it's, it, it's very peculiar. Now we build so much on this is the authority of the scriptures. It is, it is every dot and every tittle is organized, is, is part of dictation. I don't believe that. No, I think men are, get these thoughts together and they wrote them down. We have violated all the, the beliefs that we've had in terms of the sacredness of each person in the world. And we've killed so many people. Oh, how sad. This is all wrong. War is not the method. It never has been the method. But really solving and helping people to love one another and to hug one another. Yes. And, be, and recognize that we are all in of infinite, infinite worth. If you don't have love, you don't have what holds the world together. But, no. but what, the thing that actually helped me to feel God's presence in the, yeah. in the world was gardening. Gardening, yes, you, 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 you made all kinds of plants over at your home there. And see, I was impressed by the fact that you developed a whole new dimension of your life because your family had not been into that. Right. My grandparents were. <laughs> I, I can remember Ray huge Bruce, zucchinis and zucchini and squash and all those wonderful things and picking blackberries and washing. Yes. Them. We had a lot of fun. And life has been beautiful. And composting. 
You were quite the composter. Well, I, I learned how to do it scientifically. And actually, that's, that's one of the, the most important lessons that I learned from gardening, mm -hmm. was the importance of cycles. Yes. And that composting is one of those cycles that is often, I mean, it's, some cycles are obviously beautiful, yeah. like the budding of a flower. Yes. That's obvious, I mean, but there's also a beauty in the decomposing of well, everything. Well, that's the thing you have in what I talk about a lot. Now, I am in my cocoon, and I remember as a boy reaching up and taking hold of a little old brown shell and opening it, and there was the possible butterfly. Mm. And that's where I am. I'm now waiting for this shell to be opened, and I'll be a butterfly. You change form, you change dimensions, and that's what death is. It's just like birth. And we're all excited about your brother being able to see the new life that he and his spouse, he and Jen, are getting ready this next few months, and they can already see the, the fingers and the toes yeah. through the, that marvelous machine. Well, and, and that's the greatest miracle of the world, really. Very true. A new person. Well, as I open up the, the shells, I'm getting ready for my translation or my laying aside the cocoon and flying. Of course, if you want to use earthly dimensions, you'd say a person comes down from heaven and a person goes up to heaven. Mm. One dies and one is born. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. That's the great mystery. Now, because you would never drop a camera, would you? I've dropped three of them, you know. <laughs> I've dropped three of these. I like it. Look it's small. That. It's Olympus, same yep. as we've had before. So let's see if you can just figure out how to use it without any instructions. And it is, as it says there, I've turned up that there, and it shows you his picture. Well, hello, friend. You made a beep. Look at you. Look at that. You, you're now on the... You, you, what a miraculous world. You realize you learned how to use your digital camera in 15 seconds? Really? You're pretty good for an old dog. <laughs> that's pretty good. I, don't, I just think that's thrilling. The mind is God, I think. God is energy. God is love. God is life. I believe that. I have a sense of wonderment. But you've got to use your reason. God gave you reason. The power to reason, to run things through your mind, to say, yeah, that makes sense. And the highest experience of sense. Life is a blast for, for this old man. <laughs> I'm just thrilled to be thrilled with living. That is us. Yeah. Beautiful. And here you are, Burning Man. Yep. Wonderful. So I want you to see what I gave everybody. You are you, you are unique. You're touching two generations. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then what's neat is I can put this in. I can keep this on the on the, the bookshelf. Yeah. And I can put it away. And when 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 baby Caleb gets old enough, he can play it too. Really? Isn't so that, it's going to touch a miracle. You. It's, amazing. it's amazing. I prefer mystery. I just can't understand it, but I'm thrilled with it, all that it means. But we're growing, and I still have hope for my world that, like you, as you hug me and I hug you, and my imagination and my mind, we are tied together. We're all brothers and sisters on this planet, and we must somehow learn to live together. So you only live once. That's right. Enjoy the color. And let yourself go in the joy and the experience of being a being a privilege to, to live in a day when you can do this kind of thing. Reach around the world. Did you say every six seconds? It's it's nonstop. We're always every every vibration that comes out of your mouth yes. is going through the internet and vibrating out oh my. all over the world. Isn't that amazing? If we only learn to love one another. We live in a world where we need to we get positive about things and rejoice in the gift of life. That's right. So once a week we try to remind yeah. ourselves <laughs> we do. to uh, hug you. To hug one another and focus on the good. So let's give ourselves a hug. And you hug yourself. My brother, my sister, we are related. And mind mind is God. Mind that's part of whatever the creative is, that's you and I are part of it. And we have the power to choose and to think good thoughts after whatever creative force made us. Spirit, love, truth,
kindness, honesty, all oh, these are all intimate expressions of that. And as you said during lunch, let us never lose our sense of wonder and let us always have fun. That is correct. Blessings on you. Blessings on you. Happy uh -huh. Hug Nation. Yes. There Thank we go. you, Grandpa. Thank you. Love is the law of life. If we love, we are blessed. If we do not love, we suffer. But I've been so grateful to relate and have tried to build my life on work and worship and love and play. Tomorrow's become today. There's no piper left to pay. I guess it's time to leave it all behind And to all those who remain Before you slip on down the chain Seek love It's all you need to find Before you try to take my soul away Is life just a figment? Before you try to take what's left to see Could I part ways with history And when I come back to this place In the form of an angel's grace Would you laugh or would you cry And when conflict greets disease and all the pillars replace the trees Will you be ready to look Through a blind man's eye Before you try to take my soul away Your strongest breeze won't make me sway Before you try to take what's left Just go back to hellos and goodbyes And if you're sad and blue When the congregation's through Now could you laugh at all these rhythms of disguise Before you try to take my soul away Can I rearrange before you try to take what's left to see Am I ready to walk? On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all the love warriors, happy Hug Nation, I love you. Gee, it's been wonderful. It's, it's a wow, which the young people say. <laughs> it is a wow. Is that what you wanted? Perfect, Grandpa. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, fun. Nothing like life.
Savior 